Hi, and welcome to Click Fix. This video will show how to find all unsupported objects in a QBW that might prevent your ClickView document from working as expected with Click in Printing. The full list of unsupported objects can be found on the Knowledge Base article shown here. The link for this article is below. This is not an exhaustive list, but it will include alternate states, triggers, invalid calculations, invalid expressions, buttons that contain actions, containers within a container, and third-party extension objects. Using this example QBW called Getting Started, I will show you where to find these unsupported objects. First, go to the Settings menu, then Document Properties. The first thing to check is Alternate States on the General tab. If there are any items listed in alternate states, they would need to be removed before you can connect the QVW to end printing. The next step is to look at the document sheets. Each sheet should be checked for objects such as invalid calculations, invalid expressions, or triggers. If you click on one and review the properties, they are found here. Third-party extensions can be found on the Extensions tab. Here are some mobile active extensions that would have to be removed before the app can be connected to end printing. Triggers are found on the Triggers tab. If you select each document event, the Add Action button will change accordingly to reflect if there is an active trigger on that item. Document event triggers, field event triggers, and variable event triggers will all need to be checked. The best rule of thumb is to just go through them all and verify that the text on the button stays the same. In this example, there are no triggers in the QBW. It is important to check your sheet properties. Here is where you will find all the objects and triggers listed. Again, it's good to go through each item on the list to confirm that there are no unsupported objects mentioned in the list on the article. Here is an example of an expression that is invalid. To get to this point, you would simply go to the Dimension tab, click on the dimension, and edit it. Any item with the red line underneath would mean it's invalid and should be removed from the QVW. A common question that support gets is, what if there are unsupported objects in my app? There are instructions outlined in the article which entail copying the primary QVW, removing the items mentioned, save the copy, and use the copy to connect to end printing. I hope this helped. If you'd like more information, please search in the support portal. Thanks for watching. Nailed it.